take off your shirt. What? Why? We are gonna make out. For him, not for you. Well, it can be a little for me. My beautiful Safix, today I want to put you guys into a new movie called Miller's Go. Winnie, one semester wasn't enough for you? Did you miss me? I did not. Well, that's too bad. You're overdressed as usual, I see. Your underwear as usual, I see. The way you burst your hair. Let's be honest, how many of us have seen a kiss or queer scene on TikTok or on Instagram and then rushed to YouTube to find out their story, wondering if it is worth our time? This video is for those people. <laughs> Excuse me, but what's that you say? You want a chicken biscuit and a Coke? Mmm, well, you heard the boss. It's chicky, bicky, cokey time, let's go. True to be told, I loved the kiss when I first saw it on Instagram a couple of days ago. I was like, wow. But little did I know that after watching the movie, my excitement took a nosedive into a pool of what the fuck did I just watch? Let me dress you up. Winnie, you know I don't give a fuck about being hot. I give a fuck about being smart. You can be both. What are you doing? I'm willing my cursor to blink itself into my Yale essay. You try? Unqualified. Her scenes together are cute as fuck, sweet and sexy. What's the subject? What has been your greatest achievement to date? Right, what the fuck am I supposed to say? S surviving the crippling ennui of growing up in bumfuck nowhere? I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't hear you over the high wine of your shining trust fund. My greatest achievement cannot be that I've had no achievement. The film brought back memories of the 19s approach to queer content, which was largely shaped by and for the male gaze. But back then, as a woman-loving woman, we took what we could get. We were just happy to see any queer stories. And true to be told, we cherished those moments, grateful for any portrayal of queerness, no matter how flawed or shitty it was. You are insane. Here. I think I'm seducing Coach Fillmore. But you're a lesbian. I'm an equal opportunist. Mm. Are you jealous? Or if I say yes, will you lay off him? If I say yes, will you lay on me? Winnie claims to be a lesbian, while at the same time, she tries to see how far she can get with a coach. It's definitely the kind of content we can do without. The first time you have sex, it's not supposed to hurt. Right. Like, if you're properly aroused, you likely won't even bleed. Didn't know that. That's because a woman's pain is valued more than her pleasure. But that's a conversation for another day. My point. It is clear that Winnie has an unrequired love for Cairo, but everything that happens between them is just for the male gaze. No, you're being... Shut up. I'd fuck you. I know. Winnie is possibly the most failed character in the film. And I wanted more for Adlan. She, along with Ortega and Freeman, tried to elevate what they were given. However, the result is still a messy idea that never actually commits to taking a stand. How's this? Yeah. Do I recommend the film? No, I do not. However, I hope you find some value in my review and consider giving this video a thumbs up before you leave. Be a little closer. I take this one. Not like that. Why are you fucking touch clock? I meant like this. Close.
ultimately the film is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And while there is something initially interesting about the rather bad bleed crazy execution of the material, the film eventually commits a truly unforgivable cinematic offense. It turns tedious, the tedious tale of an unsuccessful teacher and his obsessed student. Positive elements of the film, none, save that the school administrator holds a teacher responsible for inappropriate actions towards a student. He came to my house. Were you alone? Yes. What happened? I returned her phone. Did you go inside the house? I didn't touch her, okay? Um, I'm getting the impression there's nothing I can say uh, to defend my position here because there isn't. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.